Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today I have a really great video for you, so let's jump in. DIY number one. I have this blank from Michael's. It's not real tall, but it's fairly long. Um, I don't remember the exact measurements, but I think you saw that. So I have the white Waverly chalk paint and then the chalk paint in the color pool. So I did cover this board with the white Waverly chalk paint. And as you can see, I didn't let it dry fully. So note to self and to all of you, don't be impatient. Let it dry. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out. I was able to uh patch it up and um yeah it just came out beautiful so i have these words that i used my cricket to cut out and it says the sound of the sea soothes my soul and i just love this so i'm doing a little patchwork here as you can see and then i will be moving on to the next step so I wanted to kind of rough up the edges a little bit. So I'm just taking my finger sander and I'm just kind of going around and roughing it up a bit. Now I have these rub-on transfers I got off of Amazon. They are in my storefront down below in the description box. Just click on that and you'll be able to find them. I believe they're in the craft supply folder, but Anyway, so I am just going to add these two beautiful little shells to this um, sign. And then once that's done, I'm taking that color pool. And at first I was just going to go around the edge. But then I decided to just go over the entire piece and I kind of like went around the words at first, but then I just covered the entire thing and I think it came out so beautiful. So now I'm just replacing the hanger that was on the back of the sign because I did patch up the back of it as well. It was just I don't know it was just a little too ugly for my liking um so anyway i just added some more of the white waverly chalk paint to the back and now i am hot gluing the hanger into place and that's it for this one i think it came out so adorable i think it would be great for like a bathroom if you have a you know, coastal theme in your bathroom, like right over the tub or something. Let me know what you guys think. So this video is part of the Craft Your Stash collab. It is part two. All of these beautiful ladies got together to craft our stash. Um, so I will have all of their channels as well as the playlist in my description box down below. So when you're done with my video, go on down there and check out the playlist. You're going to love it. Okay. DIY number two. This one, I don't even think you can call it a DIY, but I got one of those flags from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take the hanger right out of it. And now I have these, I could think they call them frames, but I got it from Timu and they're like magnetic pieces. So like this is the top, it's got the hanger. So all I'm doing is I am placing the flag in between the two pieces. I do end up tacking it with my hot glue, I think. Maybe I don't. Um, but all I'm doing, I add the flag and then put the two pieces together um, and the magnets hold it right in place so easily. Um, and that's it. That's all there is for this one. So like I said, I'm not sure you can call it a DIY, but anyway, I think it came out so sweet and um, 
yeah, I think I need to iron it to, just to get the wrinkles out. But otherwise, I think it's adorable. Let me know what you guys think of this one. So I wanted to let you all know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel that way. But either way, stop on by my social media and say hi. I would love to hear from all of you. DIY number three. So I have this wreath form, one of those mini wreath forms, and I was going to use that ribbon, but decided against it. And then I have some shells from a um, local beach and also some shells from my sweet friend, Christine, from DIY Craftaholic. I will have her channel linked below. She went to Jamaica and she got me some sand and shells and sent them to me. I was so excited. Um, so anyways, now I have this braided ribbon. It's from Hobby Lobby. Every time I go there, if they have it, I get one because I love this stuff. So it took a little time because the braid cable ribbon thing <laughs> is a little stiffer than just a regular ribbon. But anyways, I started just wrapping it and realized that I needed to hot glue some of the pieces together because, or all of the pieces together, because it just wasn't staying and I didn't want it to come unraveled. So I would wrap it around and then um, on the front of the wreath, as you can see there, I would just add a bead of glue just to hold the next wrap into place. And I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing, but I just wanted to leave a little bit in here so that you could see exactly what I was doing. Now, once that's done, I have this striped ribbon that I also got from Hobby Lobby. All of these ribbons right here are from Hobby Lobby. So I thought that this worked best, so I wanted to make a bow for the top. Now that space is empty on purpose, sort of. I mean, I ran out and I didn't want to open another package, but also I knew that that section was going to be covered anyway so i'm taking this ribbon and i just make the awareness ribbon and then take a small piece of this baker's twine and wrap it around the center and cinch it in the back and then um, i do end up later on taking another piece of that ribbon because as you all know by now um, unless you're new to my channel and if you are welcome but anyways <laughs> um so sorry that's my dog um so anyways i make a i cut another piece out to cover the twine in the center and i dovetail the ends now i have one of these really big shells from one of my local beaches and this star bonder glue this stuff is amazing you guys um i don't know if i've used it before i've had it for a while but holy moly it's great so you put the gel on and then you spray the accelerator wherever you're going to put your piece and then you just put it down and hold it for just a few seconds and look it picks up the whole wreath it's amazing so, okay, here's where I am taking another piece of that ribbon and I just fold it into thirds. And so really the only thing that's left is that blue stripe in the center. So I'm just going to wrap that around the center of my bow. Then I'm just going to take that bow and I am going to glue it right to the shell. Now I have this sailboat. I believe I got it off of Amazon, but it also might have been Michael's. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon though. And it came with like 
um, some Adirondack chairs and um, I think there were like three or four different designs. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, but you'll be seeing more, I'm sure. <laughs> so I did the same thing with that star bonder and I glued the um, sailboat to the wreath. And then I'm taking three of those shells from Jamaica and I am just going to glue them together on the opposite side of this wreath. And that's it for this one. I love this piece. I think I'm keeping this piece. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of this one. Okay, on to DIY number four. I have four of these four by four frames. And then these pieces are uh, pieces that I made with my um, IOD molds and some of that casting resin. And then that um, blue stripe thing, that's wallpaper that I got off of Amazon. I think it's gorgeous, I love it. Um, so I took all of the frames apart and now I'm going to take this wallpaper. I'm going to cut it into four pieces and I'm going to cover the back of the, um, you know, the stuff in the picture frame, that cardboard. Um, I'm going to cover those with this wallpaper. And then once I have them covered, I'm just cutting off the excess. And then I am going to put it right back in to the frames. Then I take that color pool and I do a pretty decent dry brushing on this. Um, I was just gonna add a little bit, but then I, I don't know, I just felt like it just needed a lot of bit. So <laughs> I did a lot of bit, <laughs> but anyways. Then I'm going to take these pieces of resin and I paint them all up with my Waverly chalk paint. I use Dusk, Agave, Sandstone, and Pool. And then I'm gonna hot glue them to the um, frames and I do use some E6000 as well so that they don't fall off. Now you have to be careful when you're doing this because these um, picture frames the glass is super super duper thin. So I left this in to show you guys but I added, I got some, a little bit of paint on the frame, I mean on the glass so I'm trying to just kind of scrape it off. Well, with one of them, I guess I pushed a little bit too hard and you're going to see that any minute now. Right there. So this one right here, the glass is broke. Now, since then, I have gone to Dollar Tree and bought another frame so that I could have the piece of glass. So... I guess technically one of these was not in my stash, but I only use the glass, so I think it counts. <laughs> I'm going with that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just placing all of them on the glass, as you can see there, and you can see that that one's cracked, and here they are, and now the crack is gone like magic. <laughs> Anyway, I think these came out so stinking adorable. I love them so much. Let me know what you guys think of this. Okay, moving on to DIY number five. 
These wood blanks came from Timu. I purchased them a while ago and just haven't used them yet. Now I'm gonna use the pool, agave, sandstone, and dusk. And I paint the front and the back and the sides of all four of these pieces. And then I'm taking the white Waverly chalk paint and I am doing a dry brushing. I tried to do a light one, got a little heavy handed a little bit, but not too, too bad. Now, once they're fully dry, <laughs> I am going to add the vinyl that I cut out using my Cricut. And then I am going to add a little something extra on the end where there is no wording. So for this one, I am using the sand dollar that came from the Dollar Tree. I got those, oh geez, maybe two years ago. Um, but I think they still sell them. I'm not positive, but I think they do. So this is the first one. And then they come with a little thin hanger. So I just use that. And then I, so I was only able to tie it one time. So what I did was I tied it that one time because my fingers are too fat and the the um, hanger is too short. So anyways, I just took a little bit of glue and I just kind of tack it down in the back so it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm just repeating the process, um, but this time I'm using a starfish. And again, that one is from the Dollar Tree. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they still sell them. Um, and then these are just a couple of shells from one of our local beaches here in New Hampshire. And then this last one, I used one of the rub-on transfers from the same pack as the last um, project. <laughs> so anyway, here they are. I think they're so gorgeous. You could even take them and hang them, you know, poke a couple holes in the bottom of the sign with a crocodile. And you could make this like just one long sign. But anyways, I think they came out so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of these. All right, DIY number six. Whew, okay. <laughs> so I have these hangers from the Dollar Tree. I bought the whole case, <laughs> so I have plenty. And then this blank from Michael's. So I used the pool paint first, and I, I wanted some of the wood to continue to show through. So I did not cover it completely. Once I was finished with the pool, I started off just going around the edge of this picture with the white Waverly chalk paint, as you can see right here. But then uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> so I decided to do a dry brushing of the white as well so you could see all three of the colors well the pool the white and then the wood color the natural wood so now i'm just measuring i wanted to find the center and then i am going to put four of these hangers on the bottom of this whole piece of wood <laughs> So I use that Star Bonder glue again, and I just put a B going all the way down. And then I did put some on like the screws anywhere where it was going to be touching the board. And then I spray the accelerator and put it on the board and just hold it. And these are holding amazingly. I didn't want to put nails in I still may do that just for like an added security but 
for right now, I did not add any nails. I just have the glue and it fits perfectly. So now I'm taking some more of the rub-on transfers and I have this like nautical rope and there's a little knot in it. So I rub it on and then I cut it in the center and just pushed it in between the two pieces of wood. And now I am doing the rope on either side of the knot uh, on the very top of these hangers and I think this is perfect for a uh, coastal themed bathroom or even if you have a pool you could put it outside for the towels but so I have more shells from that rub-on transfer and I just put one on each side of the rope and there you go you can see it there and here's another view of it I absolutely love this. I think it came out so sweet. I love it so, so much. Let me know what you guys think. I want to thank all of the amazing, wonderful, beautiful creators who are in this playlist. I am so honored to be part of this. I hope can't wait to watch the playlist and I hope you guys do too. Don't forget the link is in my description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you appreciate my content and will push it out more so that more people can enjoy it as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you next time.